Hi everyone, how are we all doing today? Hope you're all good. As you know, I can never kind of see who's on here, so if you want to say a hello in the comments, that would be great. And as we're going along, if you've got any questions, you're just going to pop them in the comments for us and we will get back to you. So, last week, um, we were talking about water. How have you got on with that? Have you managed to up your water intake? Do you feel like you're thinking more clearly? Um, has it had any other kind of an impact on you? Um, have you even thought about it again? Maybe it's just need that little reminder. Um, okay, so today we were asked by Bella um, to do more meditation. And I felt like today I needed to kind of talk to everyone about um, being aware of your own self-judgment. And we're going to talk about that and then do a little meditation around that. So the intention of this all is to have less self-judgment and just to more go with the flow a little bit more um, and to stop like, applying um, meaning to any kind of self-judgments, uh, noticing them, being aware, okay? Because when you give weight to um, a judgment and you apply a meaning to it, all that means that um, I'm a bad person because I thought this and blah 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 um, then that weighs you down and that that's never good and it doesn't mean anything so um, we want to be authentic we want to be who we were born to be we want to be who we are and I'm hopefully going to help you to find um, I say find yourself but Get back in touch with what means, you know, things that mean something to you that are following your flow and of how you were meant to be doing, you know, in this life kind of thing. Um, so, who are you? What do you like? What don't you like? What do you like because your family likes it? And it's kind of like you just like it, but you don't really know why you like it. We're going to adventure into that and try and unravel some things that maybe you didn't realise that I only like that because the rest of my family do it. So it's just something we do. And I don't dislike it, but I'm not passionate about it. Yes, there's lots of things like that that happen. And they happen because your friends like it. They happen because your family do it. These things happen because you're surrounded by certain ways of life. And that's just what happens in life. It's not because somebody's necessarily forced you to. It just happens. Um, so we're going to sit with each choice you have and see how it feels. Because we are all very different. I mean, with the three children I have, they're all completely different. They all love different things. They have different characters and personalities and they're gonna end up being very different people. But they've all been brought up by me and only me. Um, so it's, it's they've been born to, to be, fulfill their life's purpose, not mine. So, we're going to try and discover and banish any self-judgments. Um, uh, some we're going to create we're going to think of some feelings that we create um, around these judgments like anger, joy, sadness, excitement. Um, and you may not have like an emotional any emotional baggage attached to these emotions when you kind of are judging something or self-judgment. But there's an, this is an example. So um, you might say something like, I'm energised by being around lots of people. Okay, that's a self-judgment. I'm energised by being around lots of people. Someone else might say, 
I'm comfortable with my own company and maybe a small crowd of people, just small groups of people. And that may come with no self-judgment at all. It's a fact. It's what you're comfortable with. Um, and that's that. Well, those same judgments might come to somebody else and they may put too much weight on that judgment and be thinking, oh my goodness, um, oh, there's something wrong with me because I need to be around lots of people to get energy. I can't get energy from myself. It's just an example. Okay, so this is what I'm talking about with self-judgment. There's lots of things we do day on day and day in, day out. And in here, we speak the most to ourselves. Um, so it's about quieting that mind, quieting that mind, understanding that we are who we are, we are what we are, and that's okay. So without the judgment. So you may then just say to yourself, okay, well, I'm more extrovert because I like to be around lots of people and that gives me energy and that's fine, which it is. Um, or you might say, oh, I'm just more of an introvert and that's that, that is. Um, and nobody else can kind of fight you for that because that is who you are. Okay, so it's about not taking these self judgments, adding weight to them and reason and letting them bubble up and create a, a, a nagging horrible feeling like anger or, or sadness and just letting it be. So it's self acceptance of what we do and don't like really. Um, non judgment of yourself means it's not a big deal. Okay, so I'm going to take you into a little meditation. If you can just sit yourselves nice and comfortably with your feet on the floor. If you can be near a nice window or wherever makes you comfortable, that would be ideal. I'm sitting here in the, in the sunshine, sitting by my window and I can see the breeze on the trees and it's just lovely and I feel nice and calm. So now close your eyes, take a deep breath in through your nose, filling your lungs without raising your shoulders and pushing it down into your stomach and holding it there. And then taking a longer breath outwards through your mouth or through your nose. And again, taking a nice deep breath in through your nose Holding the breath at the top and then allowing that breath to release slower than your in-breath. Taking a nice deep in breath in through your nose, holding the breath at the top. And then releasing the breath as slowly as you can. Now I'm going to ask you some questions, okay? And then I'm going to ask you some questions as an extension of those. But before I do, I just want you to fully tense up your body all over from head to toe. And then slowly relax from top to bottom whilst keeping everything else tense. Relax yourself slowly from the top of your head, your mouth, your neck, your shoulders, your arms, your chest, your stomach, your hips, your legs all the way down to your feet and your toes. Now sit with yourself and ask yourself, what is my idea of a perfect home, a place where I live? Now, what does it look like? Try to really imagine what feels good for you. 
try not to go into somewhere you think the rest of your family would love to live. How does this place feel? Are there people there? And what people are around you? How does it smell? Is there fresh cooking? Is there coffee? The smell of fresh flowers? Maybe you have a candle that's burning or wax melts. <laughs> Lovely sea air, maybe. Is it an open space or a smaller closed space? Is it light and airy or is it dark and cosy? Get to the place where you feel this is your idea of your perfect home or space to be. Now, what is your idea of a really good person. Does that person have a certain image? Do you see this as important or is that just external? How important is that to you without self-judgment? How does this person feel? Are they sympathetic? Are they kind? Are they ambitious? What attributes does this person have that makes you think they're a really good person? Does this person have lots and lots of friends or maybe a handful of very good friends. Does this person have lots of material things that you would love to have? Or do they not have very many material things, but what they do have is theirs? What's your, what's your idea of a really good person? Without any self-judgment, what makes a good person to you? Can you say that you are the idea of a really good person? And if you're not, then maybe that's your own self-judgment. And who you are is you and that's good. Another question. What is my perfect or ideal idea of a job or a hobby that I would feel fulfilled and happy doing? Where? Is this job? Is it in an office? Is it outside? Is it working with a certain type of person or on your own? Is it with a certain age group? Is it a doing job? Is it a job where you use your hands? Or is it a job where you have to use a computer? What is your ideal, perfect job or hobby? So this could mean a hobby like karate or tai chi or something that makes 
once you have me. This isn't necessarily a job. But it comes with a feeling and what is that feeling that it gives you? Does it give you a, a feeling of fulfilment? Are you creating? Are you making other people happy? And the last thing, what ambitions do you have? What does that ambition look like? Who is with you on this journey to this ambition? Or are you alone? How does it feel to accomplish this ambition. Where are you? How long would it take to reach that goal? So what is your ambition? If you have any, and if you don't, there should be no self-judgment because you are who you are and it is what it is. So now just ask yourselves to just recap over those ideas. What's your idea of a perfect home? What's your idea of a good person? What is my perfect job or hobby? And what ambitions do you have? Just getting you to create in your mind. And if you struggle to create or to visualize, then that's fine. It may just be a feeling and that's all good. Now let them sit with you. Take a deep breath in through your nose. Hold it at the top. And expel the air slowly. Take your time to open your eyes when you are ready. Focusing on the breath in. Holding on the top breathing out again. Okay, lovely. Right, well, if any of you got anything, I can't actually see, so if any of you have got any topics you'd like me to talk about next week or anything you'd like me to cover, please pop it in the comments as I say and we will try to cover what we can. Thank you so much for joining me again. Lots of love.